I like being able to take something that's completely mangled and destroyed and put it back together. You know, fix it and put it back together the way it was. Kind of a, you know, sense of pride when you get done with something that was a mangled mess when you got it. And when you sent it home, it looks just like it did the day they bought it. My grandpa was a mechanic, my great uncle was a mechanic, and my dad's middle brother was a mechanic. And my grandpa had a shop at his house, so I just grew up, I grew up around cars. I was big in the hot rods and things. My dad always had some pretty neat cars. I had a subscription to Hot Rod Magazine when I was like five years old. But I can remember going to car shows and thinking, I want to build that. You know, when this opportunity presented itself, it was kind of a no-brainer. It's been here, it's an established business already. You know, it's not like I have to build something from the ground up. I mean, it was a lot of money, but you know, own your own business. That's the American dream. But you know, going into something like this, there could be a little struggle there because, you know, finances and things like that. But we got the main hurdle by getting the bank to loan us the money. That was the main thing. We had to jump through a lot of hoops, you know, just because it is an SBA loan, so they want a lot of information. My wife works at Regions, so obviously that's the bank we were going to try to go to first. Uh, once they said we were going to move forward with this, they put me in touch with uh, the Henderson State University Small Business and Technology Development Center and basically took it over from me. I mean, they basically interviewed me you know, and took things from that to write a business plan based off of what my vision was for the shop. And, you know, based on that, they did business projections and the profit loss statements. They basically took it out of my hands and I did, did nothing but answer questions, basically. I wouldn't have been able to do this without them. I don't know how to do a business plan. I don't know the first thing about it. I mean, they took the ball and ran with it. And without them, I wouldn't have been able to make this loan happen because SBA wants all this stuff on paper. You know, it's got to sound good, it's got to look good to them, it's got to look like it's worth their time, and they made that happen.